5 seconds to go. Start. Mr. Vice Chairman, sir, I rise to support this very simple piece of legislation whereby it is proposed that the Electricity Supply Act should be amended so that power schemes up to rupees 5 crores need not be referred to the Central Electricity Authority for their concurrence. As my friend was just saying, although he did not agree with it in view of the escalation of the cost of inputs since 1948, it was really very necessary, rather essential that this limit should have been increased and since this limit is being increased from 1 to rupees 5 crores, I support this bill. My friend was saying that since 1948 price escalation has been more than 100 times. That is not so. It has not been 100 times, maybe more than 500 times. But what I am saying is that it is rather just and right that this section should be amended and schemes up to rupees 5 crores need not be referred to the Central Electricity Authority for concurrence because that authority also takes a lot of time in examining these schemes. They have to examine them on techno-economic lines and this could delay the project. So, at least up to 5 crores, this delay will be avoided and this legislation is a welcome move. The importance of electricity in the modern world needs no over emphasis, whether it is a matter of industrial or agricultural production, electricity has to be there and has to be generated to meet our requirements. It is indeed not a very happy state of affairs that even today after 67 years of independence, we have not been able to generate as much electricity as we actually need to run our industries and also to cater to the needs of the farmers and to supply to public at large. Still, it is rather gratifying to note that in the first quarter of the current financial year, the power generation has been more than 15 percent that is from April to June as compared to the corresponding period last year and in this the thermal power generation has increased by 13 percent and hydro by 19 percent. During the 10th plan period, the target for electricity generation was 19,000 
megawatt and we have been able to achieve only 14000 megawatt it is indeed a very sorry state of affairs that almost all the state electricity boards are in a very bad condition and all that they know is to increase the price and cost of electricity they are going on doing this ever since they existed almost all of them are running at a loss it is a very serious matter and must be looked into as i said at the very beginning if we cannot generate electricity we cannot ensure industrial development as much as we want it to be almost 20000 industries or more than 20000 industries have suffered just because of short supply of electricity very important industries like coal steel cement fertilizers have all suffered in the past and they are still suffering to the extent that we are not able to provide electricity to them so our government must look into the working and the functioning of these electricity boards which are no doubt proving a short of white elephant for our country and for our states as regards the ills of these state electricity boards their sickness is due mainly to four major causes number 1 is non utilization of capacity none of these boards which are running at loss is able to generate electricity to the installed capacity capacity utilization is much less and this utilization should also be increased number 2 is delay in the implementation of projects the delay is due to so many factors sometimes they do not get turbines from bell and others because of non availability delay may also be because of the delay at the level of the central electricity authority which is now going to be curbed by this legislation to some extent number 3 is poor financial management really their financial management is very bad and it must be looked into seriously the fourth reason is that on public institutions there are heavy arrears this is the case with all these state electricity boards i know that in the case of the up state electricity board as much as rupees 25 crores is outstanding against the jal nigam there and like that against so many autonomous bodies organizations corporations and even the government of india may have to pay something sir the situation is that 
shortage of electricity is supposed to be 8 percent while transmission loses are to the tune of 21 percent pilferage is supposed to be of the order of 30 percent our friend was talking about Haryana earlier in Haryana alone 20 lakh units are being pilfered in this field stop